<clears throat> you see this video we have to chill and relax and talk about it i want to give you 47 different countries that you can move to with greater opportunities what did i say one two three four five no i said 47 if you're looking for countries you can move to with certain skills and that would afford you the opportunity to get jobs as well as living there and acquiring a permanent residency I'm going to give you 47 different countries. You just need to listen to me and watch to the end. This video is for you. All right, folks, you're welcome. This is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. Always bring you the best gist when it comes to travel and migration. You know how we do it on this channel. All we do is share information that has to do with traveling, living, moving, working. So long as it has to do with the whole abroad life, this is where you want to be. Two quick things that I like to pass across in all my videos. Number one, I'm not on Telegram and I'm not on WhatsApp. So if you do find anybody in the comment section saying that you should send a message on Telegram, it is not me. Again, it is not me. Secondly, is to say that about a year ago, I wrote a book, a book titled Move Abroad by Force. The idea behind this book is to be able to help you move abroad without the need of any agent. So the information in the book is about cheap alternatives to move abroad. You can get how to move abroad without a job offer. You can get scholarships in the book, loads and loads of information right there in the book. And it's very, very affordable. So all you need to do to be able to acquire this book is to check the description box of this video. Every video has a description box where you can find information about the video. Click and you'd find how to acquire the book. Just read through and you'd find the link to the book. If you're also looking for a way to contact me, all you need to do is check the description box of this video and you'll be able to find how to contact me right there. All right, so let's get into the gist of the day. Guys, why is it that you do not subscribe to my YouTube channel? Why, why, why? I'm providing information to help you move abroad, yet I find that so many people watch my videos, but they don't subscribe to it. Yes, when I check my analytics, I see that a lot of video, people use my videos, but they don't subscribe. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you drop comments so that I can interact with you and I can answer your questions. Okay, what should I do? What, what do you want me to do? before? You, should I kneel down? Should I beg you? Should I roll on the floor? I can do it easily, all right? I'm just trying to help more people so please just subscribe to my videos okay share them let's help more people move abroad thank you this video is to educate you about 47 different countries that you can move to if you're looking for job opportunities abroad i'm going to tell you about these countries i'm going to tell you about the type of visas i'm going to tell you how to process it i'm going to tell you everything you need to know from start to finish it means you need to watch this video to the end but quickly, I need to address this. A lot of people have sent me information back and forth asking me about AWD. How can we pay our tuition? Because some of you come from countries where your cards don't work. You have ATM card, but it's useless. You can only withdraw $2 or $3. You people, bank transfers don't go simple, simp as simply as you want it to. You want to make payments in the UK, in Malta, in Australia, in Finland, in Germany, in Australia. It's very, very difficult. And I've got loads and loads of emails complaining about this. So let me just tell you once and for all an app that I found. This app is called Pay For Me app. Don't say Waka Waka Doctor has not helped you because that's what I'm doing now. It's called Pay For Me app. So you can use this app to pay your tuition fees. You can use to pay your IHS, IHS is health surcharge, so you can use to pay your IHS, you can use to pay your service fee, service, S-E-V-I-S -E fee, yes, if you want to go to the U.S. and apply for an F-1 visa, you can use it to pay your accommodation, your, you know, application fees, simple. The exchange rate is not going to uh, hold you by the neck, the exchange rates are very simple, they are easy, um, the, the rates are fantastic. It's a safe and secure platform, so you don't have to think about the fact that uh, your money will go away. And all transactions are made in 24 hours or less. So I'm telling you now, it is called Pay For Me app. The fantastic thing about this app also is that 
you can even do transactions and business on the app. They have a new feature that I just found out on the app. So if you want to conduct business, you know, you're in Nigeria or you're in South Africa or in Ghana and you want to conduct business and buy goods and properties in maybe the UK or in Malta or in Germany, you can actually do that on the app. They have a pay for business um, app um, section of the app that you can also use as well. And people are going to say, okay, how can we find this app? Number one, you can download it on Google Store and Play Store. It's Pay For Me app. Or you can simply just use this link that I'm going to put right here on the screen. And it's also in the description box. And that will help you. Stephanie, finish. Now, there is a type of visa that I want to talk to you about that allows individuals to live and work legally in other countries. And I'm going to tell you 47 of these countries. Now, people are going to ask me, what visa are you talking about, Waka Waka Doctor? What's this visa? It's called a digital nomad visa. Yeah, digital nomad visa. A digital nomad visa, for definition purposes, is a document or a program that several countries have that gives someone like you the legal right, okay? Lawyer, bo, 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 legal right. You have the legal right to live and work remotely, all right, while residing away from your own home country. All right. So it means that um, someone who has this type of visa, often referred to as a digital nomad, um, lives in a, lives a nomadic lifestyle. So you're always moving from one place to another and uses technology to work remotely from outside their own country. There are 47 regions that offer the work, the, the, this option to live and work abroad, including places like Germany, Croatia, Norway, Taiwan, and many, many more. There are 47 of them, remember. Let's get into key takeaways that I want you to note. Now, a digital nomad, like I said, lives a nomadic lifestyle, and you use technology to work remotely from outside your own country. These visas are often available to workers, to students, although every country has the requirements and the cost, so it might vary. You need to take note of that. Now, many countries that offer these visas, they allow you to apply for yourself and dependents so you can move with your family as well. Yee Although a digital nomad lifestyle allows you to have, you know, long vacation when you work, it can be stressful and may hinder the formation of a long lasting relationship. I need to put that at the back of your mind. So. The phrase digital nomad visa um, isn't used by governments that issue them. It's most people that give this visa this type of names. That said, a lot of regions have their programs and give them unique name, while others just use that general term like a resident permit. Keep in mind, however, that these visas may not explicitly target digital nomads. Workers and students can use digital nomad visas, like I said, the cost might vary. Let me give you an example. For instance, if you get a Bermuda certificate, which is a digital nomad visa, it requires you to provide a proof of enrollment as an undergraduate, a graduate, or someone in a research program with your applications. Some countries even allow employers to apply for a digital nomad visa for their company. So say for instance, digital, um, digital nomad visa for Dominica, they charge 800 US dollars, okay, plus an additional $500 for employees, all right, who run a business for more than three, four people. So like I said, the cost might vary. As of 2024, the start of this year, there are 47 different countries that people can use as remote workers or temporary workers. Besides um, some of these countries that I'm going to mention to you, there are also countries that allow it. So let's list the countries. Spain, Greece, Romania, Hungary, Cyprus, Latvia, Albania, Brazil, Ecuador, United Arab Emirates, Panama, Belize, Namibia, Cape Verde, Colombia, Armenia, Abu Dhabi, Uruguay, Thailand, Malaysia, St. Lucia, Grenada. These are countries that can help. I'm going to give you another list. <laughs> North Macedonia, Serbia, Montenegro, Bali, South Africa, South Korea, Argentina, Andorra, Japan, Philippines. Right? They all have 
announced digital nomad visas and you can start using this opportunity to move to these countries. All right, for the requirements, there's something basic, okay? Aside from having, you must have a remote job and you must earn from that job. A remote job just means that you work from your laptop and the company that is hiring you must be outside your home country. So I'll give an instance. If you are Nigerian, you cannot be working for a Nigerian company. People are going to ask me, how can we now get remote jobs? How can we? So you, remote jobs spans a lot, different fields. If you're a graphic designer, that's a remote job. You're a tech worker, it's a remote job. You're in marketing, it can be remote. You're a customer care representative, it can be remote. Some people teach online, that's remote. You just need to be using a laptop or a phone, a telecommunications gadget, and have a job that is outside your country. Now, let me tell you some websites where you can get remote jobs that you need to take advantage of. Number one, you can use Fiverr. Okay, Fiverr is a very great app where you can get loads and loads of remote jobs. Number two, Upwork. Upwork is another website where you can get loads and loads of remote jobs. Other websites that you can check include landing.jobs, remote.co, angel list, there are tons and tons of websites that give you opportunities to get remote jobs. And what I'm going to do for you is in the description box of this video, I'm going to list, list 15 websites that you can get remote jobs. So let's talk about requirements of some of these countries and how you can move there. I'm going to start with Antigua and Bermuda. I like to talk about countries that are not common so that you can start from there at least. Everybody's not rushing to those countries. So Antigua and Bermuda, for instance, the normal digital residence visa for Antigua and Bermuda is a long stay program that offers, is offered by both islands, okay, for remote workers. This visa will be for two years and it only costs $1,500. Okay, so if you're an individual, you pay $1,500. If you're a couple, family of three, you would pay $2,000 and $3,000 respectively. All applicants for this visa just need to fill an application form and submit about 10 documents, including the proof that you earn at least $50,000 from that job you're doing per year. All right? Another country that offers this is Cape Verde. Cape Verde is one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited in my life. Look at that across West Africa. Beautiful island, fantastic and amazing scenery. You would just be chilling and sipping margaritas. But the thing about Cape Verde is that they have, they call theirs remote working program. And it's available for everybody, Africa, North America, Europe. It's a Portuguese speaking country and they have a very good economy. If you're applying, you must have a minimum bank account balance of 1,500 euros. <laughs> All you need to show in your bank account is 1,500 euros. And if you have a family, it's 2,700 euros. And the bank statement is for six months. You submit the documents, including your passport, health insurance, and you submit it to the person at, you know, the um, either the border okay, in person when you arrive in Cape Verde because Cape Verde is visa-free to a lot of countries, so you can go there and submit it at the border. The process usually takes about two weeks, okay, and it's valid for six to 12 months. Another country I want to talk about is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is in the Central American region of the world. They have this temporary resident visa, which is called a rentista, and it gives you two years two years opportunity to work um, remotely. Now, if you want to work, you have to be sure, if you want to move to Costa Rica, you have to be sure that you have a job that gives you between $2,000 to $2,500 every month. It doesn't matter, just $2,000 to $2,500 every month. Now, other things they need would be your fingerprint records, they need um, your birth certificate, they need um, you to pay the visa fees, and all this is online. Just go online and write Costa Rica Rentista, Rentista, R-E-N-T-I-S-T, and you'll see the website with all the requirements. 
Let's take a look at Croatia. Croatia is a very underrated country and they also have this digital nomad visa. It is available for individuals and close family members for up to one year and you can, you know, the only thing about Croatia though is that you cannot extend it. So when you spend one year in Croatia, you have to be looking to move to another country, all right? But Croatia has a special um, process. If your one year expires, they can give you six months extra if you haven't found somewhere else to go. Prospective um, applicants, you must submit documents um, that is listed on their website and you must be able to prove a monthly income of about 2,870 euros. The visa fee is about 100 euros, so it's very, very simple. Another country that I want to mention that I possibly didn't mention in my list is Estonia. In 2020, Estonia launched this official digital normal visa. And people are going to say, what is Estonia? Estonia is the tech hub of the world, central tech hub of the world. People are going to Estonia for great things. And in Estonia, you can remain there for up to one year and reapply. The only thing is that you need to prove a bank statement of 4,500 euros and the visa fee is about 80 to 100 euros thereabouts, all right? They have additional requirements that you need to have, including your passport, health insurance, criminal records, and you must submit this in person to the closest Estonian embassy or consulate, and the processing takes 15 days. Malta! Malta is another country that I love so much because it's English-speaking and it's one of the few English-speaking countries in the world and they've also got this nomad resident permit that allows digital nomads to work remotely within the archipelago uh, for one year. It can be renewed up to three times, which means you can stay mm, three to four years in Malta, okay? Um, now, let me also state that you need to have a monthly income of about 3,500 euros. You need to have a valid passport, health insurance, and you need to have a background check done. So your criminal record must also be submitted. Once the application and all the documents have been submitted via email to the Maltese Embassy, instructions will follow for you to pay a 300 euro administrative fee okay, uh, for each applicant including your family members that you put on the application. Another country that is an island, Sweet Sweet Island, is Mauritius. And Mauritius has this premium travel visa that offers you one year of remote working abroad with the potential of renewal. The best part is that Mauritius is free. No fee at all for Mauritius. It is extremely free. The only thing is that you need to show that you earn at least $1,500 okay and um each applicant as well you must be able to show 500 dollars for all your dependents under the age of 24. you must submit multiple documents on their online application including your passport uh, proof of funds health insurance marriage certificate and stuff like that you need to submit all those documents and you will get your visa in 48 hours let's talk about mexico <laughs> Mexico is another country where you can work remotely for between 180 days to about four years, okay? Very low application fees. You need to have a monthly income of about three to four thousand US dollars, and your bank account must be at least sixty thousand dollars. So think about it before you decide to go. You need to have a valid passport. You need to have passport photograph taken of you. You need to submit your international passport. And the visa cost is about $53 thereabouts. It, it varies depending on, you know, the number of people you're taking along with you. The best one for me, the best one for me is Portugal. Portugal has this visa they call the D8 visa, okay? And it's a passive income visa that is valid for two years and it can be renewed for up to five years. This visa costs about 90 euros and um, when they want to give you a resident visa, they might charge you extra. So you need to submit the application form. You must put your passport, then two passport photographs, travel insurance, proof of residence of where you live, a uh, bank statement. Um, if you want a business, you need to put it there. Then criminal record as well is important, all right? The income requirement for a D8 visa in Portugal is that you need to show 
$3,500 per month. If you're coming with dependents, then it has to be $4,500 per month. There are many, many countries that do this type of visas and I've listed them and we can go time and go on and on and on and on. The advantages of you know, this digital normal visa is very obvious, is that you can enjoy a long vacation while maintaining a stable source of income without putting your career on hold. And most regions that offer these digital nomad visas already have the infrastructure necessary to support you. And you can use that country as your place of residence if till you decide to apply for a resident permit or take your next step. Now, the disadvantages for me is that applying for this type of visas require you to have a remote and flexible job. Um, this is important when it comes to logging in hours and showing time difference. You know, um, you need visas are also expensive depending on the country you choose. And if the application for your next destination is rejected, you could be left strangled, you know, just struggling and scrambling for where you need to go next. Moving around can also make it harder for you to form long lasting relationships and the constant distance can also prove to be a distance, uh, a problem with your existing ones. So for me, I think the number of countries in, around the world that are offering this type of visas growing every day and such travel programs can provide both cultural and extended stay benefits for those who want to just move abroad looking for a place better than where they are at the moment this might be a very very good opportunity for you okay each country has its own specific requirements for digital nomad visa like i've told you and you need to do your necessary research before you begin the application process again google helps most of these things i've given you the information go on google and type any of the countries that you like and check for their digital nomad visa requirements and begin to apply Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to share this video to as many people as possible. It's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor, and I'm signing out.